Welcome to Calgary Lifestyle Living, Cottage Country and Homes. We're today with the Banff Springs Hotel. Let's take a look. We are going through the gorgeous doorway into the fabulous foyer. Look at that rundle rock. Just smacks you right in the face as soon as you see it. Absolutely spectacular rock work. And we're going to go up the grand staircase first because the check-in lobby is, you know, not as interesting as this amazing hotel. This marble staircase, the woodwork, the finishes, everything about this hotel is truly timeless elegance and we wanted to share a little bit of luxury lifestyle with you today i mean why wouldn't you just come see the hotel for how grand it is and look at those ceilings and the fixtures and the finishes and the artwork and the architecture is absolutely amazing even the flooring with their custom carpentry is <laughs> <laughs> truly spectacular. So up the grandiose stairway, we're going into the Heritage Hall. And this encompasses a uh, history of the hotel. It started out as a CP railway hotel. And as such, they have quite the collection of mementos from the time where people were served on a fine china. The menus are there. There is the silverware, and yes, that is true, silverware. There is many uh, pictures about the history of the hotel adorning this hall, and you will find the odd celebrity in these photos as well. Just a beautiful historical monument for the town of Banff as well. So we're going to head down the hallway again. It's a little bit busy in here today, and I think a lot of people are just checking out the hotel. It's a beautiful day in Banff. Of course, every day is a beautiful day in Banff. But look at the stonework on the walls. Absolutely divine. And as you walk through the lobby, you will notice how beautiful it actually really is. And they have so many little spots that you can hang out in. You can have afternoon tea. You can have a beautiful gourmet meal you can catch a quick bite but what's really wonderful about this hotel is its facilities today somebody is setting up for an elegant wedding and oh my goodness it is truly a spectacular setting for a wedding or any major event and oh yeah i love the little gargoyles that one's a squirrel I, I'm addicted to gargoyles. I have a few of my own, <laughs> but moving on. There's a beautiful area that, look at these ceilings. I mean, come on, this is absolutely spectacular, but this beautiful area is designed for entertaining and designed for, uh, to marry your knight in shining armor, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're gonna see a little bit of armory around the hotel, some beautiful original artwork, it's all available for purchase for your own private collection. And there's a beautiful art gallery for making purchases that we'll walk by a little bit later. But today we're in this nice open foyer, which has the wedding going on and the artwork surrounding it and <laughs> it's beautiful paintings and you have a little DJ that's setting up here. So I've, I've turned off the background noise because there's a lot of music going on. But there's more meeting rooms down that hallway. And I just thought, well, let's take a look here. The, the setup for any function, and I've seen actually a number of weddings at this hotel being set up, is an absolutely ideal location. Oh, and look, there's some more armory and... <laughs> more stonework and oh it's just overwhelming the attention to detail that has gone through this hotel you'll notice some stained glass windows as we walk around and uh, we'll go outside in a little bit as well and you can see that they have a lot going on in this hotel there's lots of meeting rooms lots of functions private function guess we won't go down that way <laughs> 
<laughs> but you can roam around the hotel fairly freely to take in all of its splendor and all of its beautiful woodwork and oh, let's go outside let's take a look outside quickly actually i might be obsessed with the outside because there's so many finishes and fixtures to look at and the detail and the sculptures and the greenery and the gardens are absolutely beautiful at this time of year but you notice even the light fixtures have amazing detail to them and the stonework and the flower beds and as you look up upon the hotel you can see the intricate intricate architecture has been no stone left unturned <laughs> right <laughs> So this is a little roundabout drop-off area that we're at the hotel. So if you were coming to the wedding, for example, this would be an ideal place to drop off your guests or uh, the bride, per se. But look at this sculpture outside. Just absolutely adorable. And this is a National Park Historic Landmark, a gift from 1988. Isn't that nice? So you'll notice these different placards around the hotel that will provide you some insight to where these beautiful bronze sculptures came from. And actually, they're, they're not all made out of bronze, but we'll, we'll see mostly that outside. Look at this backdrop. Look at this setting. Look at this view. Look at this grandioso, spectacular beautiful i mean can you just smell the air that fresh mountain air it's a little cloudy today but that does not dissuade people from enjoying the great outdoors and oh, breathtaking landscaping you can see is around the hotel as well so we're gonna walk down here a little bit further i love these light fixtures i think they're quite elegant and you'll notice some really intricate features in the finishes in this hotel i think i mentioned that the glass work was really quite exceptional down below we have a, a little glimpse of the whirlpool bath that is adjacent to their world-class spa the willow spring spa absolutely a divine experience if you do nothing else in banff <laughs> go to that spa such wonderful customer service beautiful treatments and you can enjoy their mineral pools as part of your spa experience as well. Or you can just sit out on the deck and maybe have a coffee and enjoy your beautiful surroundings. There's a lots of room and oh, look at that. That's a picturesque view unto itself. And all the flowers they have prepared in the flower beds absolutely everywhere. Here's another big scope of the hotel surrounding view. I tried to do a little 360 there so you could get a better idea of where I am in the hotel because we're outside looking at the horizon and oh look down there a little vive Clicquot <laughs> little I don't know what's going on down there but Clicquot must be having some kind of uh, event and look at that do you see that that is the river and you can hear the river. It's, it's really hard to see through the trees, but you can hear it. And there's that world-class golf course at the Banff Springs Hotel as well. A very, very beautiful course. And actually they have things going on there as well year round. And then they have another lower patio area that is off again, the um, spa entertainment family area for I, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's way down there, but we'll, <laughs> we'll enjoy that. They have some lookout glasses there. We're coming up to the upper deck here and taking in yet another gorgeous view. But even better than that, it is set up for the wedding. So the wedding is going to be outside the ceremony and behold the backdrop for the bride and groom what better backdrop could you think of to get married at absolutely gorgeous really nice setup very elegant very discreetly done looks like they're flying the pride flag in the background yes it's pride month right now and again flowers galore 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 they take such good care in this hotel i mean it's a lot to manage but lots of detail is never left unturned and they have some open fire pits outside 
uh, people can sit by. They have this little dome we're going to take a little closer look at. But yeah, even the outdoor seating area, they don't have cushions out right now just because uh, at the moment it's we're expecting a little bit of rain. So, but normally people could just be sitting there enjoying the fireplaces, enjoying the view, that type of thing. Um, but <laughs> look at, see, somebody's cleaning the windows as we speak. Let's take a closer look at this dome. You can book this for your private party, for a dinner, for charcuterie, for an afternoon tea. And it's developed, I think, uh, in the time of COVID, but they've kept it at the hotel. So it's a really nice experience if you can take advantage of that, if you're able to get in there when you want, right? So we're going to look at the grounds a little bit more. Beautiful, lush landscaping, and it's been raining, so everything is green, green, green. And look how expansive this hotel. We're still outside. This hotel is outside. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? But a really nice view and really nice facilities and all those details I mentioned earlier with the architecture. Bear with me, we're gonna go inside in, in a few minutes, but I just want to take you down here just to get a, a better scope of the big picture. Uh, there's a stairway there. I don't think you can actually go up it, but um, you can also go around and see, you know, little spots around the gardens, around where you can maybe drop people off, etc. that type of thing. Another close look at this beautiful Rundle Rock. And yes, there is a mountain called Rundle Mountain, but this stone is real stone, not artificial stone. It's really quite spectacular, and I just can't even imagine the number of years it would have taken to finish this beautiful hotel. Like I said, they maintain it very well. There's somebody out there washing windows, and there's always somebody in the garden taking care of the facilities and I think when I was in the hotel myself um, there was somebody like every half hour making sure all the bins were clear and no debris falling around you know just little things that you would expect from a world-class hotel right I'm gonna take one more look up here because I am absolutely in awe of not only the dome, we, we kind of looked at that a little closer, but this setting for a wedding. Does life get any better? It is absolutely divine. And what a memory, not only for the bride and groom, but for everybody who is attending the wedding. It would be quite the spectacular feat. There's those uh, glasses again, the, the lookout glasses, where you can take a closer look at the mountains. Of course, that doesn't work on my... <laughs> <laughs> for me at this moment but it's uh it's really nice if you can just you know take a look see through there and take a look at the mountains there's very well laid out um, design for taking in the entire atmosphere and we're gonna, we're gonna leave the coffee patio and head down back down this way and take a look around the other side of the hotel where we originally came in so you can have a good feeling for the expansiveness of the grounds and the hotel. It's really quite amazing that this beautiful hotel is in the little town of Banff and all of these people, I mean the hotel is full and you don't see a ton of people so that's what's kind of nice about it. But as we walk around the hotel, you can see the stained glass window I mentioned earlier. That is the hall where the wedding is taking place that we looked at inside earlier. So you can see all the stonework. You can see the stained glass windows. <laughs> you can see that cute little beaver, 1888 to 1988, Canadian Pacific. Yes, very Canadian. I, I love that, that they've maintained that in the architecture. And Canadian Pacific, by the way, is the, the railway. So I, I think I mentioned that earlier with the, the China. So we'll just keep moving forward. And there's a little archway here I'll go through versus walking on the roadway. You're going to see a lot of uh, wires and stuff at the moment. There is a movie being filmed here at the moment. And the, the set and the film crew and the people 
it's actually not chaotic. I mean, there's sure there's some, some stuff about, but as you saw where we looked at the back of the hotel, it is not disturbing the guests whatsoever. And the set is set away from the main hotel, so it's, it's nice. And as you come through this area, you will notice that a lot of times things are going on besides conventions and weddings and filming, etc. But they do their best, so you're not feeling intrusive, <laughs> like you're not feeling like they're intruding on your space, right? And oh, that's a nice little tour vehicle there. What we're going to do now is, well, number one, take a look at this amazing sculpture. Yes, this bear is for sale. I don't know how much it is, but it is absolutely spectacular. It's carved from one piece of rock. And we're going to go into the entrance, which has the shops at the Bamp Springs Hotel. So if you've forgotten anything or if you need anything, they have it. This is the art gallery I was mentioning where you can shop in earlier. But they have something for everyone. Something Canadiana, fashion, artwork like I mentioned before, uh, souvenir gifts. Uh, there's even a store all about flannel. <laughs> I love that. How much more Canadian can you get than that? There's the Alberta Boot Company. This is actually a Calgary company and fantastic custom made boots. Absolutely divine. You would love that. And going down the hallway again, Snowflake, mm, one of my favorite stores. It's winter time, not really in the mood for winter decor or design or dresses, but <laughs> it is beautiful. Stonework, jewelry, custom crafted. There's the, jeez, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that animal's name, but there's a store <laughs> named after it. And, um, really you know something for everyone which is really really nice because this is diverse and you know what this is the best shopping in banff if you want to get away from like seriously all tourist type of shops and actually shop for something that you will enjoy wearing and taking home as a souvenir from banff it's worth it to come up to the hotel check out the shops and that's uh, much nicer selection than what they have in town in my opinion there was the spa information souvenir shops so if you do want a t-shirt stampedes going on right now in Calgary so they have some stampede wear and then they have uh, additional shops that will have you know the Banff logo or the Banff Springs logo and there's the Willow Stream Spa my fave absolutely divine they have some nice product line there they have a hairdressing salon so even if you want to get your hair done or a haircut um, i'm just saying make sure you make appointments because this place does get busy like i mentioned before the hotel is very full and there's a, yet another patio to look out and that's adjacent to the spa well i hope you enjoyed our little tour of the bamp springs hotel I only touched on the surface. You have to check this out. And if you live in Calgary, oh, come on out. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's right in the middle between Calgary to cottage country. I'm Diane Planet, ready to help you make a move.